Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody doing this morning? Uh, well, as always, I hope your day is starting out amazing. Uh, so let me tell you what I got going on today. I um got some uh fritters, some app fritters. Let me get a sip of coffee and then I'm gonna put it down. I love coffee. Okay. Oops. And these are apple fritters. Um, I've had them about two weeks. Um, so now, so they won't go to waste. I'm fixing to make some uh, bread pudding from these apple fritters. I know it's going to be good. I think the only thing that you'll have to do if you do use uh, donuts or oat, you know, stale apple fritters or stale pastry, something with sugar already in it, you'll just have to, and see that's hard, yeah, you'll just have to cut down on the uh, amount of sugar. Well, I'm going to say you would probably need to, I'm not going to say you should, because I don't know, some of y'all might like it real sweet. But this is, I've had these um, fritters about two weeks. Yeah. Get this cut up. Okay, now, I got the fritters cut up. And um, I'm going to transfer them um, to this pan. But first, I'm going to grease uh, this pan with some butter. I'm going to grease it liberally with butter. And the bottom good. And round the sides good. Okay. See that? Sit to the side. Mm. Now, this is an eight by eight and a half uh, baking dish. So, oh, I see some pieces I want to cut up a little bit more. Because I don't want the uh, pieces real big. See, that's too big. Cut it down, <clears throat> cut it down some. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be so good simply because these fritters are real crusty. Before I get started, well, I can go on, put my two cups of milk down in that bowl. Okay. Well, heck, I'm going to use this to whisk up my eggs, too. I'm going to whisk three eggs. Before you add it to your uh, milk. Okay. Let's get it back. Now. Get 
I'm going to also whisk in. I'm just using just a third of a cup of sugar. Uh, like I said, because I am using uh, those apple fritters and they already got plenty of no sugar. Uh, so, but that's up to you. So here's the third cup of sugar. teaspoon of cinnamon. <sighs> yeah, look at that. I don't know how much that was. So I guess I'll just add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm. Trying to show y'all what I'm doing. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Smells good. I love the smell of vanilla and cinnamon. Okay. I'm gonna add a sprinkle of salt. About a half a teaspoon, I guess. A little less. Oh, my sugar dissolved down in there. Now, sit that to the side and get my bread uh, or my donuts in this case back over here. And so, what I'm doing now is I'm going to sprinkle some uh, raisins on top. Mmm, this going to be so yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells good. So, I'm adding a few uh, pecans, if I can get the bag open. I made it chopped up, just pecan pieces, great value. I'm just going to add a few just like that. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to pour this solution. Mmm, mm, it looks good. Just going to push it down. Let me get them. I'm just pushing it down in the uh, milk and eggs. And now, you're going to have to let this uh, soak. I'm saying soak. Yeah, because that's, well, that's what it's doing. Uh, these donuts or apple fritters is going to soak up this custard. So, I'm just going to let this sit in here. For about 20 minutes. Until it's soaked all through. Well. Wow. I'm trying to figure out a way to show y'all. Let me see. Y'all see that? Yeah, 
That's it. I'm just going to let that soak. I'm going to let everybody get acquainted. And I'll be back in about 20 minutes. Okay, guys, let's make the sauce uh, for the bread pudding. Now, in this saucepan, I'm going to put one stick of butter. Okay. Uh, one cup of sugar. Uh, and I'm going to put this on the stove and let this uh, melt slowly. Now I'm fixing to beat one egg that's going to also go into that. Okay, guys, in this pan, I have started my uh, sauce for my bread pudding. And uh, this is one cup of sugar and one cup of butter. And I got it on the lowest uh, point on my stove, uh, which it after a two, it just says low. So that's what I'm just going to let this uh, butter and sugar melt on. Uh, and then I'll add the other ingredients. Okay, guys. Uh, oh, can y'all see? Oh, boy. Okay. I'm gonna let my sugar uh, is melting. My butter's just about melted. It's not hot. Because I'm melting it slowly. So now what I'm going to do is add my one beaten egg. I'm going to scratch my pan. Okay. I'm going to stir that in real good. Get it in there. Stir it in real good. Y'all see that? So now, we're going to turn it back to the heat. And just let the uh, butter and sugar continue to dissolve. But that's how your mixture will be looking. Okay. Okay, guys, at this point, my sauce, you see how creamy that is? Now, what I'm going to do now is add uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. That is there. Now this next step, uh, oh, and let me tell you too, while you're cooking this, make sure you scrape down your sides because that sugar will uh, stick up to the sides and you want it all dissolved. You don't want no sugar granules uh, in your sauce. Now at this point, uh, they say remove from the heat. But I just want the flavor of uh, this. I'm using this uh, Cavassier uh, Cognac. 
Um, I don't have any brandy, but I, I, I think this is brandy too. I'm not sure. I know both of them are made from grapes, from what I know about it. But it says um, it calls for a fourth of a cup. Now, I'm going to let mine continue to cook because I want it to come with strong. I want mine to cook out. I just want the, the flavor of the brandy. I don't particularly uh, want that strong alcohol taste. So, but it smells wonderful, y'all. So, I'm just going to let this continue to cook for a few more minutes. And I got uh, 15 more minutes before the bread pudding come out. Okay, guys, the bread pudding is out of the oven and smelling amazing. And it's still a little jiggly in the middle. And that's what you want. That is, uh-oh, can y'all see? That is exactly, you see that jiggle? That's what you want. So now, this wonderful dreamy sauce, see how creamy that is? It's fixing to go right down over it. And you want some to get all over the top, guys. Mm -mm. And I have a little left, so as we slice it, mm -mm. I want to slice down in it, and it's hot, but I'm going to try to slice down in it. Up. Let me get some. Put it in. I'm going to try to get a piece up, guys. I should have let it sit. Tell you what, guys. I'm going to let this sit a few minutes. Okay, guys. I let it sit a few minutes. And so now I'm fixing to taste it. It's so custody, y'all. When it's hot, I know it's... I don't want to burn my mouth. Mm-mm. It's so good. Mm -mm. That's a little crunchy around the edges. Yeah, this is so good. So next time you have some leftover bread or donuts or in this case, apple fritters. Uh, I'm going to make you a bread pudding out of them. And y'all, it has the flavor, that bourbon. Uh, not bourbon, um, that uh, cognac. It still has a hint of flavor. It is so good. Mmm, mmm. So... Oven just went off. Because I took it out about five minutes. Okay. I 
I took it out, out about five minutes because, you know, I told you 45 minutes, but I mean 40 minutes, but I actually let it um, go for 35. I checked it at 35 and it looked it good, so I took it out. It was just where I wanted it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, sharing is scaring. So share the love. I thank y'all so very much for choosing to spend a little time cooking with D. And until next time, love, peace, and blessings. Bye, y'all. Love you.